I know there are a lot of women who don't want to be bothered for sex, and I don't want to be a cost or bothered for sex. However, I love sex. I love men. I love their strength. I love that when they're in their masculine, healthy energy, the way they protect, provide their focus, their discipline, their, that they don't get so emotional, you know, that they're so logical. And I love to be around men who are confident, independent, and who are really into me. I love their strength. I love the way they move. I just love men. And um, and I love sex. And it's not just for having orgasms. I love a man's energy focused on me, his presence. His, um, it's almost like, um, I don't want to sound like a, a parasite, but it is kind of like that. When a man focuses his energy on me, the way that they focus, I feel that, like, it's, it gives me, like, I, I absorb his energy. I mean, like, I'm open and radiant, and they love that, but they're giving me something, their, their presence. When a man is turned on and wants a woman sexually, and he's kind to her, that focused energy and attention, not the slimy, needy, you owe me, but they're coming from a giving place, and they're healthy, confident men, when those men focus their energy on me, oh my God, I love that. It lights me up. Not in the way that it turns me on, but it just lights me up energetically. That energy, that focus, that direction. And when it's physical, it's it it's physical. Like it, I absorb it into my pores. I just absorb it in my spirit. And because I'm a physical person, I love working out. I love lifting weights. I love running. I love the breathing and the movement. And sex is physical. People who have pain in their bodies may not like having sex. For me, when I'm having sex, I'm moving. I'm physical. I see myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh my God, I love my body. Uh, you know, I know what I like. I'm like, touch me here, touch me there. This is what I need. And they listen. Okay, now, what does someone like me do who's single and I don't hook up? Why don't I hook up? I used to hook up before I realized how men are. Read my book, What I Did for Sex. I did not realize that men will use me for sex and leave me. I thought they were like me. I thought, if a man has sex with me, it's because he likes me, because I'm having sex with him because he likes me. And it's only been in the last few months, and I'm 60, that I realized our differences because no one is talking about our differences. We're all the same. That's the wokeism. We're all the same. Women are supposed to work like men. You know, we're all interchangeable. We're all the same, blurring the gender, he, she, they, them, whatever. And when people talk about our differences, that men could be better at math and women could be better at caretaking, uh, it's politically incorrect and has been politically incorrect for a really long time. And the problem with shaming people for having these kinds of discussions is that we don't know or we forgot and I didn't know. So I've had to discover it the hard way. And through all the pain, I finally decided I don't want to hook up. Now, many of you know that I was an escort and perhaps I still am. So that's my own business. But here's the thing. When a guy was or is, I'm not saying, was paying me $500 for one hour and he's appreciative of me, so freaking appreciative because when he pays, he appreciates it. And the guys that want to use women or don't respect women, they don't pay for it. They would never pay for it because women owe them or they want to control women, and they want to demean women. But the men who respect women, they will pay for it because they appreciate what a woman can give them. So with those men, you can have a really great experience. And that has been the way that I have been able to get sex in exchange for men who appreciate me giving me their resources, 
okay? And there are still men giving me their resources. Whether they're paying my rent or they're buying me gifts, I have some arrangements. That's what I'll say. I have some arrangements. And so I am sexually active. I am sexually active. And um, I, I had a bunch of videos called Escort Diaries that I deleted. They were like 50. Because I don't want men coming on here, coming on to me. And I don't want that. I don't want that. So I deleted those videos um, because I do not want to be accosted by men who are trying to take. And guys, you know, the other day, I have an ad in psychology today from my coaching business. And some guy sent me like, Eight emails. Some young guy sent me like eight emails. Hey, Charzat Morgan, I want to see you so much. You make me so horny. You know, I I had to block him from psychology today. And he, he still kept emailing me. He found my personal email. I had to block him. Like, I don't want needy guys or taking guys coming on to me trying to get stuff. I don't want guys going to my LinkedIn, connecting with me because they saw some escort video and uh, sending me a message in the middle of the night saying, I really want to meet you. Here's my number. And you're like a high up guy at CalPERS. I don't want that. Okay. So I have ways where I'm under a different name where people can find me and I only want to see those men. Okay. And they give me resources. So what I like to say is when I feel appreciated, either through a lot of your resources and $500, the equivalent of 500 an hour is a lot of resources. So my rent is 2000 a month. So four hours to with you and you pay my rent as an example, you know? So what, when a man offers me his resources, that's an equal, it feels like an equal exchange and they feel it's an equal exchange and they keep coming back because a sensual woman who opens to them and loves them and appreciates them is such a great gift. No drama, no psychotic woman, no drunk woman, no where is this going. It's a clean exchange of energy and I don't get attached to them and I don't care if they don't call me again because it's not personal. I'm not in love with you. I didn't choose you because I want to date you. You chose me based on where I let myself be available. And that's how I get sex. And for me, it's not about orgasms because I like men and I like sex. And this is how I get it without feeling used. And I feel open. I feel receptive. And to me, it's very emotionally nourishing. I feel so emotionally satisfied. I do it sober. I feel so emotionally satisfied. Now, I also have a just for fans. Again, I don't talk about that because I... I, this is my channel where I just talk about, this is why I don't want men approaching me as a sexual object. Women don't want that. I don't want needy guys coming at me wanting my body. It is repulsive and it's gross and I don't like that. Um, but, you know, I was married 25 years um, and I like men and I want to honor men. And when they come here, I treat them like a king. But I'm very careful who I see because in order for me to treat you like a king, I have to trust you and feel safe with you. And I want something from you. I want your resources or I want a relationship, which is also your resources because a relationship is actually your time and your investment in me, your emotional investment in me. You know, I've met your kids. I'm part of your life. We have a partnership. And that's how I felt about my husband. So... Yes, and I want to, I guess I should talk about the fact that I'm sexually active because I am. And to give an example to people that women at 60 postmenopausal can enjoy sex. I don't take any hormones. I don't hook up. I'm not overly sexualized. And I'm very present. I have very present embodied sex. And... um because I'm not turned on by who the man is in my relationship with him. I know exactly this is how you have to touch me. You have to be sensual with me. You have to kiss on me. You have to hold me tight. Don't touch me here till I'm ready. You know, I've learned exactly what I need 
so they can get me turned on based on who they're being. Um, not people pleasing, but confident, empowered, and um, you know, mutual. Last year, I had the number one page on um, Just for Fans, the number one female cis performer at Just for Fans. I don't make like huge amounts like the some of the people on OnlyFans. You know, I don't make hundreds of thousands a year off my Just for Fans, but. It's a nice income and it's a place where I'm creative and where I do show my body and I do fun, fun things and it is sexual, it is pornographic, but it's very sensual and men love my content and my creativity and they love the sensual blowjobs because they're connected and sensual and slower paced and it's the way that I want to have sex. I make videos on there um, where I talk uh, escort diary series, Mondays I post workout Mondays, um, and I post fun things, sexy things. Um, so I have a sexual part of me that I don't share on YouTube. <laughs> um, so if you guys, anybody wants to, you know, know about that site or whatever, I don't I don't know. I, I don't talk about it anymore because I don't want that kind of attention. But the, the Just for Fans is $35 a month. And if you want to know where to find me on there, send me an email. My web my email is on my coaching website. Uh, introduce yourself. I want to know your real name, you know, or tell me you found me on YouTube and you want my Just for Fans. And I'll tell you. But um, it's not cheap. It's $35 a month. It's not $5 a month. And, um, and then for the other stuff, you know, um, you know, it, it, it takes a, you know, there are not that many 60 year old women that will, um, exchange, um, adult companionship for resources. Um, and, um, a lot of men like to be with an older woman, a lot of older men with money prefer a woman their age. So again, it's not true that all men like younger women, a lot of men like older women they especially like a woman with no makeup all natural a lot of men like that and um and so uh i don't know if i should even be saying this on youtube but <laughs> someone was asking me a question about how i get sex and as part of being honest and sharing my experience i do i am sexually active um I use condoms and um, I don't have a lot of partners, but I have enough that I am able to have a very good life for myself. And I feel like I'm in tune with God. I'm in tune with nature because I feel supported. It easily comes to me and I feel emotionally nourished. I don't feel used. I don't feel drained. I don't cry over men. When I was hooking up with guys, it was very, very painful for me because it's the garbage truck. If I didn't hear from them again, it hurt my feelings. It was very traumatizing and I didn't understand why they didn't want to see me again. And when a man just gives me sex, I feel used. If I just have sex with a guy and there is nothing given to me that feels of the value that I want, like a relationship, I feel used. It's not the same for me. And I'm very in tune with how I feel. I don't know if it's biological, cultural, if I was taught, if it's my belief system, but I really think it's in the nature of a woman. And I'll tell you this, if I wasn't postmenopausal and I was still menstruating, I wouldn't even be doing the resource exchange because I tell you what, I do not want to get pregnant. That fear of getting pregnant would keep me away from any penises. But at the same time, I know that a healthy person wants connection with the opposite sex. A healthy person wants sex. That's part of a healthy person. And I like it, <laughs> but I don't want to be plundered. I, you have to give me something. And that's the purest form of sex for a woman. And when I'm in a relationship, um, I have sex not just because I'm turned on necessarily, but because I want to nurture the relationship. See, my husband would have sex with me because he wanted a release. And that's what men want usually. They want a release. But for a woman, it's often about the closeness we have, 
the building the relationship that if we do this, I will feel closer to you. I'm doing this for you because you're providing for me. I'm doing this for you because you're a good father to my children. There are so many. It's not about a release. I'm not going to come from your penis. Um, and, you know, I tell you, it's nice to have a man's attention. You know, he's like adoring me. But but in a relationship, it's deeper because they're appreciating me. They're, in a relationship, a man will say things he won't say when he's just exchanging resources. Like, I love you so much. You're so beautiful. There are certain things he won't say. And that's fine. But I get enough I get more emotional nourishment during sex from my um, admirers, let's say, than I ever got from my husband who loved me because he was so walled off. Um, yeah, and I, uh, sex is very physical. And also I used to have some like hip pain like during sex, let's say, especially if I was on top. So through Pilates, I've learned how to move around so I have no pain at all. I have a really strong core, like sex is physical, and it's one way I am physical. Um, or if I give a guy a massage after, you know, like it's physical. And so when women have physical pain, whether in their vaginas or their hips or anywhere, or they have a headache, they're not going to want to have sex. It's physical too. So it helps if a woman feels good in her body, if she feels attractive, if, you know, she enjoys because it is physical. And a lot of guys will just lay there. They'll just lay there because they're out of shape and they're sluggish and they're not in their body. So you want to be good in bed. You have to be embodied. You have to be present. And you got to be able to, in my opinion, you know, move around. It makes it a lot more exciting. I get bored if people just lay there. I like to kind of keep things interesting um but nonetheless i digress um to me sex is a spiritual emotional and physical it's like i'm a spiritual being in physical form uh even now because i'm giving a message from the heart through my mouth and this phone physical and spiritual and that's how i try to live my life yeah um so that's how I made my life work because it's against my feminine energy to be locked in a cubicle in a window in an office with windows that don't open. And um, I really have found this really nice balance between my masculine and my feminine where, you know, my finances are in order and my home is clean. I keep my word. I get up early. I do my training. Yet I also can sit and just feel the trees and enjoy the warm sun on my body and feel the music and get passionately sexual. And that all feels super, super yummy. The only thing missing in my life would be a man to share this with because I feel like I have all this vibrancy and radiance and I have, I'm a happy, happy person. Uh, with good energy and sexuality and I like to cook and have good wine with dinner and uh, I don't have any addictions like I'm I have like awesome kids and awesome ex-husband like my life is really working right now knock on wood you know I could have an auto accident tomorrow and lose a leg you know but right now everything is really good and um and I feel like I'm just over bubbling with all the stuff that there's got to be a man out there who would benefit from it is what I think. I, I no longer think I need a man to give me something. I feel like, and I have a really nice body. I <laughs> like really, really good, which I don't show on here, but it's good. And um, I feel like there's got to be a man out there who wants it. Like it's just going to waste me here all alone. Like there's got to be someone who would benefit from it that I could share this with you know and I think that's a good place to be like I have something to share rather than I need something so that's a transition that I've made lately and what's helped me a lot with that is my weightlifting that I've started doing lately 
is it's really built up my confidence and given me the feeling of I've got something to share. And maybe that's why it's good for men to do weightlifting because it'll give you that power confidence. Like I'm up to stuff and you better deserve it. And I feel like when I'm done lifting my weights, I feel like, you know what? I work my ass off. I'm strong and you better offer me something or I'm not even interested in your lame come ons. So that's why I try to encourage men to be strong and confident because if you're not strong and confident, I don't want to be bothered with you. But if you have something to offer, you know, resources and resources are not just like a lot of money in a relationship. It's about your attention, your discipline, your devotion, what you're up to, your energy. You know, there's a lot that goes into providing, providing emotional support, providing um, companionship, high value companionship, offering your energy. That's a resource, your energy, your your calmness, your confidence, that's all part of your resources. It's not just the money you make. Because a guy can make a lot of money and be like a complete empty void of a man. Like that Pete Buttigieg. He comes on all nice and charming, but have you seen him in an interview where he was interviewed with his husband? His husband is desperately lonely. That Pete Buttigieg is emotionally a walled off wall, rock, stone. And his husband looked very sad in that interview I saw last year. And he actually said, you work a lot. You don't give me attention. And, you know, he's a shell of a person running the transportation department, just kowtowing to the airline industry because he wants to get somewhere. Um, but, you know, he's got money and clout and looks, but he's a shell. Of, you, there's so many people like that. And that's not resources. That's, that's... Um, an empty suit, an emperor with no clothes. You have, if you just have money, you're not, you're nothing to me. You gotta be embodied and present. And that's what I like from men when I'm with them sexually. I want your presence. I want to exchange my presence with your presence. And it's a beautiful flow and a beautiful connection. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I'm not, leave your comments below. I may share more about, um, porn and all that. I have a lot of things based on my experience working with men and um, my own opinions. I'm happy to share with people if it helps, but anyone that's coming on to me or trying to take from me or uh, trying to grab my sexuality, it's repulsive. It's unwanted and I will block you because I don't want to be repulsed. But, um, you know, guys like, hey, are you going to come to my town? Hey, can I see you? Oh, you're so pretty. Lame, come on, weak, come on. And if, when it feels repulsive to me, I know it's because you're taking. So anyway, I hope you like this video and thank you for watching.